I wanted to make this video today about uh, my overhead rig. So I wanted to really kind of get two angles, two cameras going, and because I have kind of like two systems and I can record twice. And even if you have your phone, you know, um, handy iPhone, you could have two angles too. If you have your camera and then your iPhone, set it up and you're good. Without further ado, I want to show you my overhead rig and a big shout out to kind of Peter McKinnon for he had a video um, a while ago about his overhead rig and that got me inspired to kind of think about overhead rigs and I'm just now kind of like putting it all together. So with all the pieces that you need to be able to build an overhead rig, there are a couple things that you need to know. Like obviously you need some kind of sturdy tripod or sturdy light stand, something to be able to mount a camera to it and uh, position it overhead. And luckily for me, I have C-stands. Um, they came from when I had a studio and all these things. So I use C-stands because they're very, they're very uh, stable. You can sandbag them and even make them even more stable. They're big and heavy, but they do the job really well. So if you guys don't have C-stands, I would suggest get some C-stands to make your overhead rig. I'm using a C-stand right now to, um, to, to prop up this light so that I have it in a good angle and I don't have to worry and fuss about it too much. So beyond the C-stand, what you need is a grip arm and a grip head. If you haven't seen them before, you know what, I'll show you right now. So this is a grip head. This part is the grip head. This is your grip arm. It's a, basically a pole that goes through the grip head. And uh, that's it, really. You have another grip head here. And uh, yeah, so you put this on your C-stand and you're able to mount whatever you need to on the end of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up so that it's kind of horizontal and I can put my camera hanging down from here, but the trick is how do I get something here to really kind of hold my camera? So I had to take a trip and I went down to my local uh, camera store, talked to my camera guy. Big shout out to Alex for helping me with this endeavor. So when I went down, I was looking at a whole bunch of different things and I was thinking about, well, maybe I can use the grip arm and the grip head, uh, same same way as Peter McKinnon, how he had his uh, in his video. But after talking to uh, my guy, the guy that I mainly deal with at uh, VizTech, he he went through his database, database, the system, and he gave me, he showed me the options that I had, and he showed me kind of like the most kind of um, cost effective and with the highest quality of product available. I know you can get. Uh, ball heads on Amazon for fairly cheap um, but my concern with those are kind of like the quality and that kind of stuff so um, and luckily there was a deal to be had um, with the stuff that I got so I want to show you what I got what I am getting and uh, we'll go through it and I'll put it all together and you'll see the final product and uh, we'll talk about that so the first thing you're gonna need um, really is something to attach to the grip arm and I we found this 
And this is just an attachment um, that is really just like for any tripod head where you have this end, almost like a spigot. Um, you have a screw thread here, like a, like a, um, this thing here. I don't know what you want to call it. But anyways, you have this that will tighten and it will keep pressure on whatever you put, whatever you put through it. Um, so that it remains steady and stable. So this is really good. Um, and because this has a complete pass-through hole here and here, I can put the actual um, grip arm straight through it, tighten this up, and then I'm good to have this hang. And most important piece uh, of your overhead rig is going to be your tripod head. Peter McKinnon used a ball head I found a similar ball head um, at, at the store that I got it from. It was on sale, and I'll show you right now. It's this. Yeah, this is a Benro V3. And as you can see here, it's a very robust ball head. It has all the kind of, you know, the things that you need out of a ball head. Plus, this is rated at 20 pounds, so it's really good to be able to have a lot of weight on it and it not failing because I'm probably gonna use it for other things other than just the overhead rig. Regular price on these, um, the Benro V3s are about 400 Canadian. Um, this is an older unit, an older model. So that being said, there was a sale on it, which I got really lucky and I got it for $130, which is amazing. So, and then the next thing is to actually just put these two together, right? But uh, as you can see, there is no screw threads on either side to be able to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I need one of these. And it is just an adapter. It's just a screw thread adapter, kind of like a quarter inch to uh, whatever size that is. I don't know what the size is. I'll put it up on the screen. Um, and yeah, so this, will just simply go into here and let's see, screw it in. That is nice and tight. And then I can just mount this piece, right? I can mount this to here, screw that in. Nice and tight. And there we go. That's the complete unit. And there we go. So that's the complete unit um, and it will hang off of my uh, grip arm like this, like so. I will essentially put this up here to the side so that the camera can eventually point down. So I don't know if you can see this, but as you can see, I have an overhead camera now, um, ready to go. I can put things on the table. This is my Venro box. I can review things. I can do all these things now. Um, and it's exciting. It's exciting to have, you know, this overhead rig ready to go. Um, you know, so I think, you know, at the end of the day, it's something that, uh, you know, I think I need, I needed to make more quality videos and uh, that's that. So hope you like this video. Um, the weather here is turning into some nastiness. Like really, it's just like, I think it's rain, freezing rain. Oh, glad I'm inside. I hope you guys are inside as well keeping away from this nasty storm uh, that we're having here in Toronto. So thanks again for stopping by. If you like this video, if you found it informative, you know, just drop a comment, hit, hit that like button. That'd be great. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. All the subscribers help. And um, if you have any other questions, just leave it in the comments. And with that, I guess, um, that's about it. So I will see you in the next one. You guys take care and stay warm. Bye.